What's your favorite food? I mean, if we're just saying like what I wish I could eat every day, if calories didn't count as like chicken tenders. <laughs> well, you heard her. Taylor Swift's favorite food is chicken tenders. And if you watched her film, Miss Americana, you'll probably know she also likes to add tortilla chips to her burritos for the crunch. So we had a thought. How about we create a Super Bowl party menu, Taylor's version? Yeah, I love it. And no one can cook up better chicken strips and burritos than chef and restaurateur <laughs> Mary Sue Milliken. Mary Sue, thank you so much for being here. So fun to be here. This all looks amazing. Pre smells Super amazing, Bowl. looks amazing. Yes. It's so fresh, you can tell. Well, this is a, a, a chicken a cutlet that we do at Alice B, our brand new restaurant in Palm Springs. Which is amazing. That we love. I can't believe you've been there already. Yes, already. So actually, I thought this would be perfect for Taylor because it's a chicken breast that we pounded till it's nice and thin and then we bread it with a breading that's not that much breadcrumbs, but a lot of sesame seeds, cumin, uh, coriander, poppy seeds, and a little bit of turmeric. Yeah, this is like very sophisticated breading. This is not <laughs> yeah, your average this breading. Is this level. is like <laughs> fine dining yes. breading. So then you can just cut this into the, t the tenders okay. that she likes, and then we're going to serve it. She likes ranch, but we're going to serve it with our dill aioli. Mm. Now you can add some of this beautiful fresh dill and stir it all up. Nice. You know, it's sad that I cook more on the show than I do it <laughs> And by cooking, that. I mean just, oh. <laughs> just is this kidding. a bad, should I be doing something No, different? you're doing it perfectly. Okay. perfectly. I'm here to learn from perfectly. the best. Perfectly, and then you, you have to give it a little taste. Let's see, see what do you, what do you think? Do you want a little yeah. taste test? Yeah, I'll take test? a little taste, I just dip it in. Yeah. Mm. What do you think? Oh my God, it's amazing. It's finger food for the Super mm. Bowl because you're going to be so busy watching the game, I it's guess. It's so Delicious. flavorful. Like everything you do is complex in a good way. Thank you. Yeah. Well, we're, uh, so these are our, our chicken tenders. We also make a taco at Socolo, a restaurant in mm. Santa Monica that opened just in 2020. Um, and those are made with a blue corn tortilla. We put roasted grilled corn, poblano pe peppers, a three cheese mix. And I always like to put a little bit of sautéed kale. And then we started the trend of the crunch in you the tacos. You did? Oh, yeah? So you have to crunch those up and put them in. And then actually, Rudabe, you can add a little drizzle of this. OK. Which is a little chipotle aioli. Oh, I love it. And what okay, kind of so chips, the chips are these? These are, these are barbecued potato chips. I don't know. I would have thought to do that. Oh, I would have thought just like plain tortilla. Yeah, you can do. You, you can do. I already started eating mine. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we'll do both. Oh, she's this she's is... busy baking a baby. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> your um your application was much more graceful than mine. That's but I'm good, trying though. my best. So then we we fold it over. This is my secret. I love to get lots of vegetables into people's mouths because it's the way of the future. It's the best thing to eat. So this is how you do it. You just put crispy chips and a little aioli inside yeah. and it's it irresistible. It is California after all. You need kale exactly. on everything. Exactly. Can I try it? Absolutely. Is that hot? too hot for you? No, I think I can do it. You're good. I think you probably can't too try hot much. Me. You probably can't taste much of the kale in it, which is like a great way to just sneak it in. Yeah. Get a little mm. bit of health in there while yeah. you're having really delicious and, food. And you know, mm. Super Bowl is the biggest sales day for avocados. And California has the best avocados in the world. So we, we're always selling lots of, of guacamole and chips. And then mm. I wanted to make for you guys this the best Taylor Swift cocktail, which I had never had before. So I tried it. It's ice, a little bit of fresh grapefruit juice, nice pink grapefruit juice. Love it already. Two ounces. I can eyeball most of these things. <laughs> a little bit of gin, like an ounce, maybe. That one's for me, Marcy. You get the, <laughs> I, guess I the think version. I might have to pass on this. You yeah. Yeah. Virgin. <laughs> but it has the virgin a, version. Yes. Yeah. Elderflower and Lille. Ooh. Blanc. And then it's just basically shake them up and serve with a twist of lemon. I brought, I have so many lemons on my tree this year. Oh, same. Oh, yeah. 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 It's been a huge, huge day or year for citrus. And that's good because that's how th that Taylor likes it, I guess. With, oh, right. and you line it with the, interesting. With, the, with that lovely. Mm. And what do you call this drink? A French blonde. A French blonde. Mm, okay. Wee okay. <laughs> wee. Oui, yeah. oui. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll take a little taste. Okay. I mean, if you insist. <laughs> I do. I, I insist. 
And this, is, this is really for a next level Super Bowl party so that if Taylor Swift happened to stop by, if for some reason she didn't have somewhere else to be that day, yeah. we all know she does. You want to smell this it? Is, it smells amazing. You can smell it from here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, this is, I mean, this is I think this really, would be a fun Super Bowl party. Oh my gosh, party. this is so inspired. good. By, and I don't even like football, but I love Taylor Swift, so. <laughs> oh, well, we love you. We love your food. Thank you so much for yes. being here. All really great ideas. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. And if you're heading to Vegas for the big game, be sure to visit Mary Sue Milliken and Susan Feniger's Barbecue Mexicana and Pachamama's inside Allegiant Stadium. And the chefs also have Socolo and Santa Monica and Alice B in Palm Springs. They both serve up great food and delicious drinks. And for more information on these restaurants and all the food we just talked about here, visit our website, kcalnews.com, and click Scene on TV. And and don't forget, CBS Los Angeles is your home for Super Bowl 58 with coverage all this week before the big game. And on Sunday, you can watch the Chiefs take on the Niners on CBS LA. Coverage begins at 3 p.m.